Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Hallelujah. We serve a great God, a powerful God. This is another wonderful Thursday. A very unique Thursday that God has given to every last one of us. And today, by the grace of God, as I continue with my series on God's dream for your life, looking at the five R's or the five keys of relationship, today I want to look at the fourth one, relationship with believers. I began by talking about relationship with God, relationship with the world. And yesterday we looked at relationship with yourself. And today we want to look at relationship with believers. And the only way you can relate with other believers is serving in love. That's the only way you can relate with other believers, serving in love. And I want to read Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 12 to 13. Then we will see what the Bible is saying. Remember, I'm talking about the Roman 12 Christian. The Roman 12 of Christian. Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 13, the Bible says, Love must be sincere. Listen to me, child of God. Love must be sincere. We live in a world where people are not very sincere with their love. You go to institutions, you go to churches, people are not sincere with their love. But the Bible is saying, love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Anything that is evil as a child of God who wants to relate with other believers, you must hate anything that is evil. And the Bible is calling us to cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another. How can you be devoted to one another in brotherly love? You pray for them. You visit them. You share what you have with them. That is the only way you can serve others in love. And then the Bible says, honor one another above yourself. That you should be in a position of honoring other people above yourself. You put yourself in the shoe of your brother and sister and say, let me honor them above myself. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual favor serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer, share with God's people who are in need, practice hospitality. We are talking about relationship with believers. How can we serve others in love? From the text I've just read, there are few things that we can keep and, and borrow from that portion of the scripture. We must be sincere. We must hate evil. We must cling to what is good. We must be devoted to one another in brotherly love. There's no shortcut. There's no shortcut, my brother, my sister. If we are going to relate with believers, those are things that are permanent pertinent to every last one of us. We must honor one another above ourselves. Before you think of yourself, think also of your brother. The Bible also tells us, never lack in seal. We must have the seal of serving the Lord. This will keep your speech of favor. And as you serve the Lord, you will have joyful hope because of what God is going to do. You will be patient in affliction, the problems you're going through. You'll be faithful in prayer. You'll be praying for your brother. You'll be praying for your sister. You'll be praying for your leaders. You'll be praying for your parents because you've realized the importance of relating with believers. I want to pray with you. God is calling you this morning to serve in love. In that office, in that market, that institution, that church, God is calling you to serve in love. That's the only way you can experience the blessings of God and achieve the dream of God over your life. Let's pray together. Father God, you are calling us to relate well to other believers. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that we will not be doing things that don't portray your character that don't portray who you are, O God. We choose to serve in love, O God. Wherever that comes along our way, we are going to serve them with sincerity of heart, O God. Bless my listeners, my viewers this morning. 
Allow them to know, Lord, you're doing great things in their lives. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's meet again tomorrow, the same time, the same place, in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.